be so darn psychic, you scare yourself. Wild Pack, it's Bernadette, and I'm here with your Pick a Card Daily Tarot Reading for Friday, May 14th. I, yes, what is Friday? Yes, the 14th. Now, let me tell you something. If you all saw my live on Tuesday, um, I, first of all, thank you all for everybody who hung in there with me. The tech drama, because Cox Cable can't get their cable stuff straight. My cable keeps going in and out. It's drama for my llama mama, for everybody's dang mama. And y'all followed, some of y'all were able to follow me over to Facebook, and I appreciate it very much. And so if you did, or if you saw the, the, <laughs> the cluster you know what, that was the YouTube um, live, you'll notice I'm wearing the same outfit. And that is because uh, like Thursday's reading, which was yesterday, um, well, it'll be in a couple days. I was told to do the reading wearing the same outfit so that, so that y'all could get to know that you're never not in the flow of your psychicness, your intuitiveness, your empathicness stuff, right? You're just not. It's your, how you're hardwired. You're a living being. You, you are a vibrational frequency and everything, everything is made up of a vibrational frequency, even rocks, sticks, you know, things that we don't think are living, they actually are. So, and that's science. I, I don't, please don't argue with me on that because it's science. Read some science and then you'll know. Okay. Now, having said that, let me say this. So I'm, I'm making this video for Friday, um, right after that, which was the live um, this morning, which was crazy because I was asked to carry over the energy from the morning's reading. Although I just could not stay in that black outfit, that dark, you know, not that it was dark in a negative way, but that super like through the veil, misty, magical, not that magic can't be hot pink because it can, um, and often is in my house. But, uh, I just, I needed, I needed a change. I needed to get off the energy of that outfit. So I went, I switched to this and I did you know, what I was led to wear. And, sh and then sure enough, I was told to just keep using, not using, but staying in the synchronicity in the energy of the high priestess and the spider card, which I did. And some super powerful, very specific messages came out. Pardon me for people. Um, oh, which is brew. Yes. There's my coolie with my, with my morning soda. I didn't let myself have a soda till now. And, um, I was still feeling super floaty after the reading. And so when I went to sit down to do some other stuff, um, I was told, no, go ahead and do the reading for Friday. And here's why. I don't know what it was about this morning, y'all. And I wish more of you had been able to stay with me. I truly do. It was the most powerful reading. So powerful and so important. Um, hopefully you'll go back and you'll find me on Facebook, Bernadette Carter King, and you'll replay the live. Um, and so I was told, no, just stay in that energy because so many of you are not, are not, are not getting your own intuitive power and that you may not ever want to be a professional psychic medium, tarot flipper, whatever. It's not about that. It's about using your intuition, um, not using it, but being in alignment with it, having a relationship with it, accepting that it is who you are, so on and so forth. Because for today in particular, um, what's happening is, you know, well, today is Tuesday, but Friday when this reading is, it's the day of love, right? Um, uh, the ruling planet is Venus and it's the throat chakra day. It's the blue, which is, you know, perfectly appropriate for what I'm wearing. It's bringing the energies but something is happening even before I pull a card. And the other thing I want to show y'all is I got a couple of emails that wanted people wanted to know if I actually shuffled my cards or did I, did I pick the card that was coming for the day? No. Um, sometimes I shuffle them. And then sometimes, cause I, I live as much, I live more in my psychic medium energy than I do in my tarot energy. But every single thing that I do, every energy I ever live in and connect with all day, every day, 24-7, 365, is the animal energy. So sometimes spirit will tell me, hey, this has got to be the animal energy for the day. Um, but mostly it's pulling a card. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a card right in front of y'all so you know I'm not making this craziness up. And not that anybody's quite... I just, it caught my eye because it was the bear. It's not the card for y'all today, but, um, but, uh, not because, not because I'm trying to prove anything, 
uh, except for to you about you, not about me. And, and actually, everybody's just asking me about my process. Nobody's ever said, you know, oh, I think you're doing this or doing that. It's not about that. It's about watching the process. So I'm even going to close my eyes and I'm going to set the intention that whatever for the wild pack must be known in this moment. See, I put no parameters on that. What for the wild pack must be known in this moment? I'm blowing my shaman's breath over the cards. I definitely need to disconnect them from this morning. I'm just clearing the space. I know it looks funny, but that's how I do things. And I always wash my hands in between things. I've got to have, uh, I've got to have water on my wrists and on my hands. It's how I break connection and, and, and seal a new connection. Um, but then again, I'm a triple Scorpio and it's all about the water element, right? That's very interesting. Okay. Cosmic forces are at work. You saw me pull the card and here's what this means. On this day of love. So I had to stop for a minute and I had to hear what was being told to me about the star card. And you know, it's, it's thought, um, there's a, a myth. It might be a myth. It might be true. There's a fable, a story, uh, a telling that star, that starfish actually are stars from the sky that deliberately dropped into the water and became stars of another kind there to help out mankind. Now, how starfish help us as, as humans, um, from a physical standpoint, I'm not sure, but from an emotional, mental, and spiritual standpoint, they help us tremendously because who doesn't want to wish upon a star? Who hasn't thought, is it true? Are we really are all made of stardust? Could I be a star? I want to be a star. I want to be a star within my own life. Now, all that said, that's actually psychically and in my heart. Oh, my heart chakra is just woof. <sighs> Give me a second, y'all. Dang. Okay. So in my chest, I feel pressure, not in a negative way. I feel pressure in a heartfelt way, like my heart is filling up for you all. And here's, here's what that story means. I keep being drawn to the number five, which is of course, how many legs a star, many starfish have, but many of them have hundreds of legs, right? But no matter how many legs they have, what I'm being told to tell you is that through starfish, this day of all days and actually going through the weekend and Yes, for some of you, it will actually be into the next week. Actually, uh, a number of you might be going to family reunions in the next week or two. You might have had a thing come up about family that's a bigger deal than would normally be. Not in a negative way. You might be planning a christening, a birthday party. Um, it might be about going to a funeral. I mean, it's just something having to do with family. And you're being asked to, in this moment, really, really consider how you are communicating in particular with your family. And that means anybody that you truly think of as family. And also consider, do you really think of non-blood family as true family? Let me give you a case in point. My favorite thing is when people say, one of my favorite things. I got a lot of favorite things, y'all. And I don't know why I was just shown this. Whichever one of y'all out there, a bunch of y'all in this moment or within the last 24 or 36 hours are fixing to in the last 24 or in the next 24 or 36 hours. And yes, I said fixing to have something to do with guava. I don't know if you're going to make a cake. You're going to make a pastry. You're going to make a tres leches with guava. I don't know. It's something having to do with guava. I'll even stretch it so far as to say you're from a country where they grow guava, but something about guava, guava jelly, guava gel, guava fruit, I don't know, but this is in particular for you, the guava thing, craziness. Okay. One of my favorite things is when people say, I love you. What does that mean? I don't say I love you to anybody I'm not willing to make a commitment to, and I mean friends too. 
What that means is, if I say I love you, if I say you're family to me, if I say you're a sister or brother to me, that means I would take a bullet for you. No joke. So I don't say it very often. I just don't. I love all y'all. I do. <laughs> uh, you know, I would like to think I would be heroic enough that in an emergent time, I would take a bullet for you. I, I like to think that I don't want to be tested on that. The universe, I don't want to be tested. Animal allies, don't want to be tested. But you're being asked to rethink who you have pledged what to and really what does your pledge mean? Because you might be in the middle of a brouhaha with someone. They might have different expectations of you than you have meant to give them. You might have seen that, you know, this person betrayed you or was deceitful. That part of that was on this morning's live. People were talking about that, but people always talk about that. And because right now I'm being deceived by Cox Cable, I'm paying my hundred and something dollars a month for their top tier service. And I am not getting my dang cable, not for a day, not for two days, for a week and a half now. I'm not bitter. She said bitterly. So what that means is, what do you really mean when you say I love you to someone who's not blood family? What do you mean when you say you're really family? to somebody who's not blood family. You're my sister, you're my brother. Now, in, in, in many cultures, they, they think of everyone as sisters and brothers. And I, I definitely think of every animal ally out there as a sister and a brother. I do. Um, and my mom and my dad and my kids and my whatever, we're just all big family, right? Okay. So all of that said, do you really? And here's how you'll be able to gauge that. I have a dear friend. I really do believe she's my sister. I do. I absolutely believe we're family. I can't tell you how many times we have bumped heads and hearts. It's just ridiculous at this point. Yet, we always work it out somehow and come back together. That's family. Now, there are those that would argue that, you know, if your family's toxic, you should leave them. Yeah, okay, I get that. That's fine. I get it. Sometimes it's, it's not okay to be in the madness any longer. That's madness. But for people, people for whom you truly consider family and you truly love, I absolutely believe that Starfish has come to tell you that they are a part of you. They are one of your appendages. And by lopping one off, you can always grow it back. If you have a kerfuffle, if you have a fight, if you have a disagreement, whatever, you can build that back. And that if you are not inclined to do that, they might never have been family, not your real family all along. You might have used those words in haste, in a rush of emotion, in whatever. But today is the day. The day of Venus, the day of love, the day of the throat, the day of the throat chakra. It always, Maureen, I know you're watching this. It always happens on Fridays, the day of the throat chakra. Um, you're really being called on to see, do you really mean it? It, it, it? Does that relationship with that person mean enough to you that if you're in a, if you're in a, a negative space with them, is it worth the effort and the heart and the whatever, the focus to repair it, to fix it, to heal it? I don't know. That's up to you to decide. But today's a really great day to decide. And you've got the energy of starfish working with you because you really are made of stardust. And one of the reasons that I was told to pre-record this video was as an example of spirit always knows. I guarantee you there will be a bunch of y'all. And I mean, but when I say a bunch, I mean 50, 60 people write me and tell me how, how much this reading resonated with them. And it won't, it won't be because it happened in the morning. It won't be on Friday morning. It will be because it happened. What time is it? It's 1051 on Tuesday, the 11th, Tuesday, the 11th. And this reading will be just as germane for y'all if I had pulled the card on Friday morning. And with that, I'm going to say, Please pick up your copy of the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Get on over to GatheringTheMystics.com. But as always, what? Do good for animals, including yourself, and stay wild! <laughs>